our bariatric cooking classes. Today we'll be making an egg roll bowl. You get all the delicious flavors and textures from the inside of the egg roll without all the calories that you usually get from the outside. And it's really simple to make. Let me show you how it's done. First, we're gonna heat up a medium to large pan over medium high heat. We're gonna brown the meat. Today I'm using ground turkey, but of course you can use, I mean, I'm using ground chicken, I'm sorry, but you could use ground turkey for this recipe as well. So I'm just swirling it around just to make sure that the whole pan has the oil. That was one tablespoon of canola oil, which is a neutral tasting oil. And here I've got the chicken. I haven't seasoned it or anything. The idea right now is to brown it. Um, just cook it through for a couple of minutes, at least about five minutes or until it's almost done. I love this little fork tool for sauteing and I'm able to scrape the bottom of the pan and anything that sticks to it, I'm able to unstick it. And this is one pound of ground chicken. Because there's a lot of water coming out from the chicken, I'm gonna raise the heat a little bit to see if we can get some color on this. So I went a little bit higher, actually, I went all the way to high. And so far this has cooked for about two minutes. You want to keep breaking up the meat as it's cooking. I change to the spoon for a moment because it's easier to break, break up the meat than the fork and then I'll go back to that fork. All right, now I'm gonna bring the heat back down just a tad to medium high again, since I was able to get a little bit of color on the chicken. It's been cooking for five minutes, so now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. This is two teaspoons of garlic or two gar lar gar large garlic cloves, one tablespoon of ginger paste. I like to keep ginger paste on hand because whenever I buy just fresh ginger, I hate to say it, but a lot of times it just goes to waste. I don't end up using the whole thing. And uh, ginger paste does provide a really good flavor and, it's gonna, and it lasts longer in the fridge. So I've been using that more frequently instead. And I'm also gonna add some green onions. I chopped up three green onions and just kept um, the half of that, the half that's closer to the white part, that's what I'm using here. And then the other half closer to the tips, I'm gonna use uh, on the top for garnish. Keep breaking up. Now we're gonna add one bag of coleslaw. And this does look like a lot, but, um, the cabbage wilts down a lot. A quarter cup of regular soy sauce. Mix that all in. Um, I used regular soy sauce because I'm not adding any salt to this. I will taste it at the end and decide if I want to add a little bit more soy sauce or maybe just a pinch of salt or to see if it's good just as is. This is all to taste. And essentially we're going to keep cooking this down until the cabbage reaches a consistency that we like. And um, you can decide if you, you like your cabbage a little bit more on the crunchier side or if you like it more on the softer side and that's okay. It's all about your preference. 
Once the cabbage is cooked, one really tasty addition that I'm not gonna add today, but you could if you want to, is some chopped up peanuts. Peanuts, um, that adds uh, not just flavor, but a real nice texture. Uh, at that point, we are kind of getting a little bit away from the egg roll concept. There's no peanuts in egg roll, but still, still would go really well with this dish. And like I said, it would provide a little bit more texture. Try to keep breaking up any large clumps of the ground meat that you see. All right, since I like my cabbage a little bit on the crunchier side, I'm gonna stop there and I'm going to create a little well in the bottom. That's where we're gonna cook our egg. Add it right in the bottom, in the center. And bring down the heat to medium. And we're gonna scramble it up. Now we're gonna mix it all in. At this point, we can add the sesame oil, which gives it a really nice flavor. You don't wanna cook the chicken in the beginning with the sesame oil, because this oil is pretty sensitive to heat, and it could burn on you. And then a little bit of sriracha, the sriracha, if you're still within the first six months after surgery, I would not add it um, because you should avoid anything spicy. Um, but if you're a little bit farther out, you could add it. It does add a lot of flavor as well. Um, and of course, if you're struggling with anything such as acid reflux, then just avoid that step completely. But those of you that are able to tolerate some heat, by all means, a touch of that just really adds a nice kick and flavor. All right, so my cabbage, uh, my egg roll bowl is done. Now we're going to serve and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the toppings I like to put on them. Now that the dish is cooked, we're gonna add the green onions, the rest of the green onions. Um, I had cut three green onions and saved half, the top half for the end, the beginning half I used in the cooking. And so we're gonna mix this in. The reason I do this step now and not when the egg roll, uh, the chicken egg roll mixture is on the heat is because I don't want really those green onions to cook. Um, I think they taste best if you just add them at the end, just like this, almost like a garnish. It adds a little pop of color, which is nice because as you can tell, this dish is pretty, you know, brown looking. So the green just adds a nice pop of color. And now we're going to plate. You could add a little bit of sesame seeds which make it look really pretty and adds some contrast because the sesame seeds are much more white than the rest of the dish. So it makes it look prettier and a little bit of cilantro. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.